we just we head into the discussion straight away. In 2020, OpenAI went from a public non-profit organization to a private company. And they have uh, had many discussions. Uh, there have been a lot of discussions on why it happened. Um, and, you know, Elon Musk, Alan, Alan, uh, Sam Altman and Ilya Sutkever and others uh, were involved in this. But uh, what I found when I read about this was interesting because they have published uh, part of this discussion why did this happened uh, on OpenAI's uh, um, homepage. And uh, one of the quotes I found there was really interesting. And uh, it's, it goes like this. It's, it, it's, I, I should say it's uh, uh, by Ilya Sukkaver, one of the founders that wrote to Elon Musk and Sam Altman and others. And he said this, if a hard takeoff occurs and a safe AI is harder to build than an unsafe one, then by open sourcing everything, we make it easy for someone unscrupulous with access to overwhelming amount of hardware to build an unsafe AI, which will experience a hard takeoff. To what degree do you think that advanced AI development should be open sourced? And is it even possible to avoid it from ending up in the, the hands of the so somebody unscrupulous? I think that open sourcing these most advanced AI models is a terrible, terrible idea. When OpenAI was launched by these people that you mentioned in 2015, the idea was um, that open sourcing would be the way to ensure that the whole world would get access to the benefits of AI. I think that at that time, it was very hard to foresee the, the details of, of current developments. And, and, and it did actually seem like a good idea at the time. Uh, but uh, some years later, uh, with the large language model revolution that, that uh, OpenAI initiated uh, and, and is still the leader of, uh, it has become very clear that uh, open sourcing is a dangerous thing. Uh, and OpenAI understands this, and uh, uh, this is why they have deviated quite uh, flagrantly uh, from, from, from the open source ideology that initially gave rise to the name uh, of the company. So why... Do I say that open sourcing is dangerous? Well, you already gave um, part of the answer. Uh, other parts of the answer consist in how, you know, how uh, they are after the basic training of these models. There is uh, a lot of uh, safety um, uh, fine-tuning, uh, using reinforcement learning with human feedback that we already talked about uh, that makes these language models better behaved, safer in some sense, and, and, and so on. And if you release these models as open source, it is quite easy for other actors uh, to pick up on the work and undo this training and unlock these models to do the kinds of things that bad actors might want them to do, help them out with, 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 with various kinds of criminal activities and so on. That's one aspect. Another aspect which becomes increasingly relevant uh, when the models become uh, more and more capable is that uh, when you, as long as you keep the models uh, um, closed source, uh, th then let's let's take um, uh, GPT-4 as an example. When you or I or anyone else is using GPT-4, it runs on OpenAI's own uh, data centers. And this is even the case w when other companies build uh, products on top of, of uh, GPT-4. When you run those AIs uh, that, that call uh, GPT-4, as a subroutine or something in their own program, uh, th that part of the program is run 
at OpenAI's own servers. And that means that if things start getting out of hand and start to look terribly dangerous, OpenAI has, they have an off button. They can close down uh, their uh, data centers. Uh, but when you open source uh, your AI, that option is, is no longer available. Uh, open sourcing is sort of tantamount to letting your AI loose uh, in the world and, and, and giving up any kind of um, off switch or, or uh, control over it. And this is, I mean, uh, I, I've been mostly talking about the big three here, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google DeepMind. But there are uh, a few uh, companies uh, slightly behind uh, trying to catch up. One of them is Meta, Facebook, uh, whose uh, AI um, development is led by Jan LeCun, who is among these tech leaders. He's the most dismissive uh, uh, person when it comes to uh, AI safety and AI alignment. He, he, he just doesn't care at all about safety. He thinks that things will uh, solve themselves. And that's reflected in their um, uh, open source strategy. So they are open sourcing their best model. Thankfully, they are a year or two behind uh, open AI uh, in, in, in the capabilities of their models. But they are, of course, also moving forward. And I think that if they maintain their uh, open sourcing um, philosophy. Uh, they are really contributing very strongly to AI risk in a very, very bad way. So, so I mean, open sourcing can, when it comes to more down to earth products, specialized narrow AI for, for very specialized talks like, uh, medical diagnostics or, or such stuff. Open sourcing can be really, really good. But when it comes to these most powerful generative AI models, um, open, open sourcing is, is just too dangerous. Mm -hmm.